Hi, I'm Nicholas David Nan of the Centre for Conscious Ascension and the author of the book Your Soul Contract Decoded. I've had some questions from book readers on any clarity on how to interpret the soul contract chart. So the first thing to do is to generate your chart if you don't have one on the software, online software, which is soulcontractreader.com. Okay, so you can register there. Uh, and set up an account and once you have logged into it um, and entered your birth name this is mine here what you do is that you click on notes PDF only this point here click on that radio button and you click on PDF here and this will generate a PDF of not only your star David but will um, it will also, and here's my PDF down here, it will also produce notes for you to work with as in conjunction with the book. So if you see down here, first we have your chart, or my chart, and if you see down here, it has a note sheet which you can print off, and for each of the seven aspects, we have physical karma, physical talents, all the way down if we go down here, physical goals, spiritual karma, spiritual talents, spiritual goals, whoops, soul destiny, and the dominant vibration. So what you do here is that um, you then go to the book here, and you look up the interpretations here. If you then go to page 204 in the book, and look at the interpretation methodology, this basically will put together all you've learned so far in the book. And basically it talks about the key elements you need to be aware of, like double numbers, what they mean, how they appear in talents. Okay, and then we need to go down to, um, are there lots of spiritual, physical energies? It's trying to give you an overview of how this work functions. What dominant vibrations in the word mean, what master numbers mean. And just basically what the soul contract does, uh, in terms of putting into context all your life experiences. If you have a lot of letters in your name, that creates a lot of confusion. Okay, um, it talks about the impact of talents on the adjacent karma and goals here, so you get some idea what it's doing. This is the closest we could get in writing a book compared to having a personal reading. Uh, these are the key fulcrum uh, interactions, and just what happens as you get older as the energies of the physical and the spiritual energies mix. And if you have karma and the same karma in both physical and spiritual aspects. Okay, and then on page 208 here, basically you take the. You go to the interpretations in the book, and then what you do is you write them down in by hand the key interpretations that jump out at you into these spaces here on the printout of the PDF from the soulcontractreader.com software. So we start with the top level interpretations. These are basically generic interpretations uh, for karma, talents and goals for a specific number. So my, my number, for example, was uh, in physical karma was a three. So we sort of scan down looking for the three here. All right, um, I haven't gone too far. Yeah, coming up here. Alright, so it's two. And we have three here. So basically I start all these things like symbols and planets are already written on the um, printout, the PDF printout of your of the root of the software. So basically what I'm trying to do now is I'm looking for things like comments and karma in this case because it's a physical karma three so I would look at this sheet here it's on page 85 in my case and I'd look at what would jump out for example um, lessons in wealth to poverty that was very strong for me I'd write that down in here and then we would go to um, underestimate and abilities that's true I was very fairly orientated when I was young money's always been a challenge for me um, was very shy as a child, so I write these key points down 
and then you don't write it all down, just the ones that really jump out at you here. Okay, and then I would do the same here, say for physical talents here. <clears throat> it's a 17 and an 8, so I would go to the back to the um, sheet here. I would look at for the 17, just scrolling down for that, We're nearly there. So 17, I'd be looking at all, all this information here is already on under here, it's been printed out by the software. But the bit I'm really interested in is um, in talents for 17 is looking at which which of these top level generic interpretations jump out. In this case, um, number two and three, as I express myself as I need to talk and write, these one step, these jump out, so I would then place them in here. And it's better to write them by hand because when you do that, you connect to the energy very deeply. Okay, so you do the same. Go through the book, the top level interpretations for all these numbers, all the way through to, um, all the way through to spiritual goals. Then what we do is um, we go to the next deeper layer of meaning. <coughs> I had a uh, physical ka physical karmic uh, three here, so going back up here. Physical Karmic 3. So I want to go to the next level of meaning in terms of interpretations, having already written the top level interpretations. So this is a deeper layer of meaning which is added upon the top level interpretations. So this is in chapter 7 that starts on page um, 136. So we'll, we'll scroll down, we'll look for the 3. So what I'm looking at here is in the physical karmic aspect, I would put down some of these issues, if not all of them, I take, I write those down and I put them um, in here. So therefore I, I have the top level interpretations and then I have the aspect specific interpretations. And I repeat the same, okay, going through chapter 7 for the, um, chapter 7 for the double, the double numbers and then, let's make sure we've got the terminology right here. Yeah. Yeah, for the double numbers and then we look at we would scroll down and for the, the numbers above between 10 and 22 there's a different chapter for that to find out these aspect specific numbers meaning okay so just go through here oh, here it is just found it So chapter 8 on page 149 tells you the combination numbers from 10-1 to 22-4, what they mean. For example, I've got the 178 in physical talent, so let's go down to that. Here it is. So, this is a 16, and then I'm going to go down to the 17. So in physical talents, I'll be looking at these aspects, specific deeper level interpretations for the combination numbers. And I'd put some of these, if not all of them, down on the printout here. I'd be putting them in here. Okay, this deep level of aspect specific interpretations for a physical talent 17.8. And I'd remember we had the top level interpretations there. And then, <clears throat> so you do the same for all the other, all the first, the first six aspects physical and spiritual karma talents and goals. And then um, to find the soul destiny here. What we do is that we go to back to head soul destiny is a nine, so we need to go to back up here, chapter seven, in the aspect specific me deeper meaning. Okay, we're going to find a nine here. What soul destiny is? So it's a two. So let's go through this. Here it is. So this is the nine, the soul destiny for nine on page, in my case, 148. So I would copy this and I, I take all that text there and I put it, write it down here. And then you, the system automatically produces the word, the dominant vibration, if you form all the same number in any of the seven aspects, it prints it in here and you can read that out to yourself, which is very powerful. So 
once you've done all this, um, put all this writing down, then you've got your reading and in conjunction with your chart at the top. So what you do then is that you you look at your chart and you look at these look at the numbers here. And you also look at um, what we said down at 20208. Just gotta find it. Just back here a little bit. We see here that we on page um, 208 we've actually gone and written out all the key points. Okay, and that's your basic reading because we've written out the key phrases, you don't need it at all. Um, and if it, it should fit with your life experience, if it doesn't, then you may need to adjust uh, maybe the the actual name of it, maybe non-English, could be Spanish or have some Spanish components or something like that. Then basically um, we need to have some name assistance service okay, here, here to help you. All right, which you can find on yoursoulcontractdecoded.com, looking for name assistance. The software is written out the relevant gateways and directions for you, and you can look those up in the book. What, what does that mean in detail? You can find these on page 126. These are the gateways, like right and left nostrils, etc. Left and right eye it explains them all. If you've actually got them in your got them in your reading, it explains what they mean in terms of foreign karma, goals, the soul's destiny, or the interpretation or talent aspect. You just, just go through there a bit more. The directions, which you can turn up as well, like height for a two, depth for a three, and it tells what it means again in karma, goals, or soul destiny, or in a talent aspect. So, so you sort of dig all the information out of the book. Okay, and if you've got a simple letter, you're talking about organs here, these are the effects of right foot, left foot, etc., and same as before, karma, goals, or soul destiny, or in a talent aspect. So this, is, so this is sort of additional information here. Okay. And you can look at the symbols as well here. Right, so in the symbols you go to um, page 66 in the book to find out, well, what do they really mean? Because they, they appeal to the right, 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 right half of your brain. It's very feminine in this approach, looking at the symbols. And those symbols are explained on page 66 of the book here. Uh, basically bypass the, the sort of conscious analytical left brain completely and if you feel them, if you're very sensitive, which most people are who read the book, you'll feel what they mean. And these are the sort of summary of what they mean here. It's on page 67. Okay, and the symbols, remember, they appear in the printout from the software. And we just keep moving through the book here. We actually have more in-depth interpretations. For example, the, the three is an internal canal, it's in my physical karma. So you can actually read this and it tells you an awful lot about what the symbols actually mean here. Okay, there's all of them here, all 22 of them. They're very powerful um, when you look at them. So that's how you understand what the symbols actually mean. So going back to page 208. We've got the symbols done. We talked about the aspect specific interpretations. So basically you build up many layers of this of the meaning of your soul contract by going through all these stages we're just here. So once you've sort of got a feel for that, because it's a lot it's a lot of information, it just takes your time. It's very powerful because of the pure truth that it carries, because it comes from the vibration of great spirit. Um, see where you are in terms of um, how far you've progressed through the contract okay and see how the energy flows between physical karma talents and goals um, and then spiritual karma talents and goals and also look at your dominant vibration which remember is here okay at the bottom here this is the dominant vibration feel that read that out loud to yourself it's very profound and moving. So once you've got a grip on, well, this is what my cell contract is saying to me, then we go to chapter 10 to the recommendations to find out, well, 
now you've found out the truth of your life, what are you going to do about it? And so we come up with come up with 50, nearly 50 years of ex clinical experience to tell you about the recommendations on how, to, how do you work through this stuff. So if you go to page 183, this, these are all the recommendations to work through the issues that have revealed themselves in your soul contract. And they basically go through from 1-1 to 21-1 to 22-4. So you, you uh, take a look, for example, my threes here. Um, I need to learn to express myself. Some of these recommendations will jump out you, jump out of you much more strongly than others. Okay, so the other ones you write down. So you take, I take these recommendations, whatever's strong worthiness is a strong one, whatever's strongest for you, and you go back to the sheet here, um, the printout of your chart and note the note sheet here, and then you write your recommendations sort of at the bottom here. So basically, these three layers. The first layer is top level generic interpretations of aspect specific interpretations and then recommendations and so taking those recommendations then gives you a plan for moving forward and you repeat this process your recommendations on all all these seven aspects you write them down there you don't write the whole thing down it's just whatever's whatever's strongest for you and therefore you have a way forward to actually overcome all that you've discovered in your chart there's a lot of these. These, these are based on um, a lot of working experience for many years. So let's just complete this now. Okay, and have a look at the case studies here. Because um, they show you how, how to put the story together. And the case studies are in chapter 11 here. Um, and they're a good read because you can see these... You can see the um, how it's put together how I've written it, and then you can actually apply that to the way you look at your own chart. Okay, uh, I've shown it all here in the case study, so maybe have a look at that as well. Then you've got more structure for doing this. I hope that helps. Um, any questions, just place it in the comments below the video. Thank you.